What's up guys, Eclectic Nerd here again as always, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. And welcome back to Take Two. So I started recording today's episode, and then Space Engineers, or at least OBS, crashed on me, and I lost my footage. So I've already started kind of the... I've started working on my first project aside from the, the lander here and it's gonna be an outpost basically that's gonna house my solar farm as well as a oxygen and hydrogen farm because there's a nice chunk of ice uh, nearby so a couple of the things I was talking about before I lost the episode was it's been about a week since the last episode and in that time, I took uh, just a bit of a vacation. I went to visit some friends of mine over the holidays. So, and I didn't have anything sort of queued up. So I just kind of continued with the Undertale release of episodes, which I completely jacked up because I was on my phone. And um, I got the episodes out of order, oddly enough. And that was really fun. Um, sometimes you just kind of need a, a change of scenery, you know, to... I mean, even if you're going to be doing the same thing, because basically, I just kind of hung out, played video games, had a couple drinks. But just, it's just something about being able to do that, you know, in the company of friends. That's much better than, than what you normally do. Let's see here. Okay, everything's on. Why? Uh, huh. Why am I not getting any thrust out of these? Okay, I am getting thrust out of these. That's really weird. I don't know why that's like that. So I was trying to stay close to the ground in order to keep the, the game from crashing because I was having problems with driver crashes again. Even though in the patch notes, they said one of the things they fixed was incorrect detection of graphics cards. Which I guess is still somewhat of an issue, or at least not the issue I was encountering. But hey, jetpacks work longer now. That's really nice. They did some a bit of rebalancing to the game, which is nice. Let's see here. I just got to carefully... Oh, nice. Oxygen refilled. Um, that begs the question, how much oxygen do I have left? Okay, I'm staying. I'm hovering. Let's see here. Okay, yeah. I still have plenty in that bottle. And also, one thing I found while I was over here at the new outpost is I found uranium finally. Who would have thought that it would be just kind of tucked away somewhere that I never would have thought of looking. But it's down probably like 60 meters so I never would have found it without without the old ship here. Let's see how am I, okay, I'm at like 80 meters per second. I have to be really careful because this thing is very, very fragile. Oh, whoa, what's going on there? Jesus. Just parts of the mountain loading in and out. Yep, and there's the first driver crash. Hang on here, I gotta give this a second. Okay. Again, really? I was trying to figure out what could be causing that. I think it might have something to do with it, try, with 
it trying to load too much of the world at once. Like maybe if they did something to kind of limit how much of the world you render at any given time. That or I may have to just turn trees off because they look nice, but they don't really, again. Hang on, give it a second here again. I think it's just the fact that it's trying to load so much, load so far off into the distance at once. Cause like, I'll be able to run around on ground. Not, of course that's the only place you're gonna run around. I'll be able to run around on foot and it won't crash at all, if, if very often. It's only when I start flying and loading a bunch of stuff off in the distance that it starts having issues. Let's see here. I have to be really careful cause I kind of broke some stuff before. Which is how I found out that my recording got jacked up. Let's see, is it still there? Yep, yeah, okay. And there it is, the humble beginnings of my first outpost. Keep an eye on my speed. I don't want to be going too fast. Break something again. They did say that thrusters did get, or atmospheric thrusters got a bit of a power boost. I think it was like 20%. Yeah. Okay. And I think that little dark spot is where I started digging for uranium. Let's see here. My, I want to make sure I'm clear before I try and bring this down. Really? Again? And again. Give this a minute before I start moving around again. Okay. Jeez. Early access or not, they need to do some more. They need to do some more bug fixing. Okay. Uh, what's my altitude at? Sixty-five meters. And I'm gonna slowly, carefully. Landing gears, gyroscope off, and I'm going to switch battery from discharge to recharge. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, I think if I built a, just a small step here, I could probably put a connector right here and I'd be good. Let's see, what am I, what am I carrying right now? Not what I need. Take my helmet off to save my... Actually, no, I need that on. Solar cells. Okay, going up. Steel plate. Okay. All right. There and there. Let's see here, I need a connector. 
Let's see. Don't need a battery yet. Of course, I need steel plate. What else would I need? Let's see, steel plate, pipes, computers, construction components, and a motor. I'm trying to get everything I need here. Oh, not that. More steel plate. How much steel plate do you need? Jetpack on. Let's see here. Make a bit of a platform I can land on here. Let's see, thrusters on. Switch battery from recharge to discharge. And turn those off. Wondering if I can stay close enough to where I can still see that uranium. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Gyroscope's not on. That's why. How long will that take to recharge? Okay. Current output zero watts. What? Why? Why? It's because there's no cockpit here? At least they're putting out far more than the panels back at the other base. Let's see, okay. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this uranium then. Let's see here. Right on. Basically use my patented method of, oop. Digging straight down until I find the ore, and then building a a ramp back up. I wonder if they fixed the weird way that ship mining works. Or sorry, rebalanced. I bet you I could probably just fly straight out of here. I wouldn't even need to build a, uh, a shaft. Like uranium. Yeah, that's that's it. That's what I'm looking for. Look at that. Three episodes. All, all it took was three episodes. Let's see, stand here. 
try and clear out an area above it so I can kind of have a cave to work in. one thing that always gets me down here. I always get really disoriented. Disorient, disorientated? I don't know. I think a full, almost a full inventory should be plenty to get me over here. Oh, no jetpack. Okay. Uh, oh, I keep... The, the jetpack and crouch buttons are too close together. Okay. Going up. Hopefully I can get up here before the fuel runs out. Perfect. Oh man. That was that was the best rebalance of this last patch. Being able to actually use the jetpack for things now. You build a stairway or something up here. I don't get why these aren't producing any power. Probably because I don't have any kind of dang it. Yep. I suppose I could. Uh, of course, I could just use my jetpack to get up here. All right. Uh, let's see here. Everything's on. Turn off. Uh, unlock. Turn that off. No, I have to turn the battery back on. All right. Turn from here. Discharge. Everything's looking up now. I've got power. I've got a plan. Somewhat. And I've essentially got most of my production capabilities up. I just thought of something. How am I supposed to fly the lander and... Well, I could probably land the... Land this guy on the lander and lock it onto it and then hop out. That's probably the best way to do it. I'm not going too fast here. Break down a little bit. there. I want to get back out into space and go to the moon and do, do all the space engineering things again. What, what is this? It's like this weird like dotty thing on the horizon. Kind of this speckled texture over the trees. Oh, is that the... No, that's not the trees in the distance. This game's really weird sometimes in how it behaves. I think we're having a driver crash. Yep. I need to give it a minute here. Fine. I'm just flying around 80 meters a second. Okay. There we go. Jeez. Uh, 
I don't like how close I'm coming to the ground. There we go. Of course, this music doesn't help either. I'm just flying back home and I'm sweating bullets because of this creepy music. Freaking aliens music. Aha, uh -huh. I think I have an idea for how I'm going to get the, the scout ship back over. I'm going to plug it onto the ramp. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Get a little, a little closer to the tree line here. It's really entertaining how the trees just turn to giant green rectangles. Oh, and I can probably scal uh, scalp all of the extra solar panels off of the lander now that I actually have a power source for it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. That set of solar panels on the side there are probably going to get in the way. Let's see here. Me landing on the ramp. Up, 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 up. Slow down. Just ease into this here. Kind of bolt. Let's kind of bolt this in place here. Um, can I get? Trying to get both of these to kind of grab onto these thrusters, which is a chore in and of itself. Um, why? Oh, wait, hang on. I got an idea here. Discharge to recharge. Get out. All right. Okay. We can finally get this freaking pile of crap moving here. No offense to the guys who designed it, but I've been staring. I've been staring at a busted lander for way too long. Okay. Uh, refinery. Refinery. Make it to uranium. Probably gonna have to take this by hand up to the reactor. Whoop! And I broke it. Come on. Thank you. Let's see. Okay. Um, all these batteries are getting turned off. Mostly because I don't want them draining any more power than what they have to. Oh, there we go. Full kilo uranium, that'd be plenty. Come on. Okay. There we go. Alright. Finally. Let's see here. Landing gears on. 
Large atmospheric thrusters on. Whoa, 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 shoot, 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 dang it. Uh, off. Outstanding, outstanding. Aeroscope on. course the only real thrust power you get is from the, those big thrusters and they don't do anything except push you up how did this happen my god How did this happen now? Jesus. Okay, I just kind of... I'm having to jiggle the mouse around. Dang it! Freaking hell. Okay. Aha, 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 aha. Nailed it! This thing is horrible. Good golly, Miss Molly. It's not really meant to be flown laterally. It's meant to go up and down, I know, but still. When this thing lands, I'm cutting it apart and washing my hands of it. Because I want it to fly normally. I don't want to have to tilt. I basically want any any directional thruster to provide the thrust for the direction that it's intended to. I want to, I don't want to have to be rotating around and trying to counterbalance this. I want it to fly nice. I'm probably just gonna have to get enough altitude to clear the mountain and then just drop down. Hopefully, I can make it in roughly four minutes because that's all that the uranium in there will provide. This is going to be like the second most intense lander landing ever. hope that the driver if the graphics driver crashes now I'm done because I'm probably going to literally crash because this thing does not stop on a dime like the little scout does I wonder why when I turned those the uh the large thrusters on, I just got rocketed upside down. Probably didn't have, probably had nothing to balance them out, so I just kind of flipped myself over. Want to 
try and slow down laterally before I start really dropping. Just so that I'm clear of all the terrain. Because I know if I go in with this guns blazing, I'm going to get jacked up. minutes of fuel remaining. It should be plenty, but at this snail's pace, who knows? Oh shoot. It doesn't that doesn't help. I can't see anything. Why? Oh dang it. Why does the camera have to be so finicky? Trying to get as close as I can without crashing into something. Uh, almost there, almost there. Just kind of. There. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it. Whoa. Falling through everything because I cut everything up. I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So tomorrow, tomorrow, or in the next episode, we're at least going to start doing some serious outpost work and start chopping this monstrosity up so that I can have some materials to do it. So until then, I will see y'all in the next one.